Howdy folks and welcome to Live Equestrian. My name's Teddy. This is Scott. We're just a couple of friends from opposite sides of the Cascade Mountain Range in Oregon with the shared goal of becoming the best horseman we can be. We love bringing folks along, hoping to inspire them in their faith, family, relationships, and personal growth. Horsemanship's the tool we use to communicate. Amongst folks who share this passion, it's a universal language. Ride along with us and grab on to a little cowboy wisdom as we share stories and lessons from the arena to the campfire. Come on, let's celebrate this equestrian life. Well, howdy folks. Man, I guess it's been a little while since we were able to get a video out for you. And I suppose as our summer's kind of progressing along or as we're getting into our summer season, it may be a little less frequent that we're able to get some of these interviews out and, and different things with different folks. But uh, I wanted to take you guys to central Wyoming. A couple weeks ago, I had the chance to go out there and do a little certification for uh, central Wyoming College and for their equine program students. And so these guys were chasing their CHA instructor certification as a certifier with CHA. I had the chance to go out there and help those guys kind of work their way through the program and, and go after their certification. So it was really fun to get out there and, and spend a little time with them. And I thought maybe it'd be neat to share a little bit about the trip, kind of show you some of the, the stuff that went on and let them tell you in their own words uh, what goes on out at Central Wyoming College at their, uh, at their horse program. And some of you guys may be looking for a college horse program. And uh, this is one of a few really good ones that I know of. And so certainly worth your time if, uh, if you were looking for some place to go and really learn quality horsemanship in a, a really good setting. So without any more mumbo jumbo, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase and let you guys take a little peek at Central Wyoming College. I'm Jennifer Cole and I work here at Central Wyoming College and I'm the director of the equine program that we have here. We have um, some degrees in equine management as well as um, equine science. So my students come from all over the country. I get a lot from the East Coast that want to come this direction because all that's offered on the East Coast is uh, largely English riding. So they come here wanting to learn Western, work cows for the first time in their life. and. So we just give them that foundation and help them learn a solid Western seat and go on. I have students leave the program, go into horse training. I've got one working for a cutting horse trainer in Texas, one that's doing her own training program. I have a couple doing their own lesson programs. Uh, I'm Sadie Sturman. I'm in my second year here at CWC in the equine management program. I'll be graduating this spring. Um, I got connected with Jennifer. My brother went to college here at CWC and I knew they had an equine program and I knew I kind of wanted to rodeo here. Hi, I'm Lexi Herbert and I am a sophomore this year and I have one more semester and I will graduate. And I am currently actually triple majoring in equine science, equine management, and then I also took on a third degree this year, which is the training option. So, and CWC is here in Riverton, Wyoming, and it's just a small little community college, but it's a lot of fun, so. I'm Shelby Gray, I, this is my first year here at CWC equine program. It's been awesome so far. Everyone's been super welcoming. And Jennifer has been incredible to learn from, and I'm really, really happy to be here. My name is Kayla Hay and I am an equine science and equine major here at CWC. My favorite part of the program is getting to be so hands-on with the horses and getting to do all that one-on-one -on -one training with them. I grew up riding and then I worked on a guest ranch out in Jackson for several years and I was head wrangler there and upon leaving I wanted to further my horse education I hadn't ever really been formally trained. So the horses that we have here are privately owned horses by each of the individuals that come into the program. 
If they're not privately owned by the students, uh, there are some students that lease horses from different various people in the area. And what we do here is as freshmen, we start off in basement, basic horsemanship classes and we do both English and Western. And then as you move up through the program, you get the opportunity to learn how to work cattle properly and effectively and do things like cutting and roping, different opportunities like that. I came in from a rodeo background, so I don't strictly rode Western and we got to do English riding and we got to do jumping, which I had never done before. And I had a blast, it's so much fun. And then she does cutting classes and stuff like that that we get to do. And I've never done cutting or anything like that. So that's a lot of fun. And you learn a lot. And honestly, at first I was kind of like, oh, English, I don't know how much I'm gonna like this, but you have so much in between you and the horse when you have a Western saddle that when you have an English saddle, you can feel so much more. And honestly, I think it makes you a better rider. So in class, we've been working on at least the semester transitions and stopping and backing and rollbacks. You just have to buckle down and do it, but it's, it's very possible. Uh, most of the girls that I actually came in uh, my sophomore year with are graduating this spring, and it's just because they only did the double majoring and they didn't take on a third degree. So it's, it's very possible, you can do it. <laughs> uh, so we actually get to use our own horses in this program. Um, any of our horses we get to bring pretty much any, any colts or older horses is just kind of what you got and we work with it. So we just completed CHA standard certification and my favorite part was getting to learn more about how to effectively teach students. We just finished our first CHA certification uh, for our teaching writing class. Yeah, it was a little intimidating at first, but it was it was fun. Honestly, I was super nervous. I wasn't sure what to think about it at first, but I had a lot of fun with it. It's very long, hard days. Not gonna lie about that. You're constantly either riding or on your feet, and but you learn so much in it. And not only do you learn for yourself from the feedback that the certifiers are giving you, but you can learn from your peers too because you watch a lesson that they teach and you can go, oh, I really like that. When I go to teach that lesson, that's something I'm gonna do. Or you can be like, okay, I saw where she messed up. This is where I need to fix it if I go on to teach this lesson. So overall, it's a huge learning experience and it is so much fun. So we have an outdoor arena that's a big outdoor arena, like 150 by 300. And when it's nice out, I like to teach class outside because you've got more room to spread out and maybe add a little speed to your maneuvers. Uh, mostly we teach in our indoor heated barn and have our classes in there because it's in Riverton, Wyoming, and it's quite cold in the winter. Uh, sometimes the high is five below. So that indoor arena is a real treat. And then we also have a great classroom with skeletal models and access to the internet. And so that's kind of our teaching spaces. So we do a lot of lecture in the classroom and prepare there, head out to the arena and apply our technique and our skills. And we have cattle and we have a cow track flag. And so I like using that because it, it brings uh, importance and reason behind the maneuvers and it allows the horses to have purpose in their maneuvers allows the students to learn timing and to kind of quicken up their their timing with their horse so it's kind of fun i think one of the most unique things about my program is that students are required to bring their own horse so i have no idea what i'm getting for horses when they come and oftentimes i not only have to teach the student but i have to teach them to train their horse to do the skills that we're trying to accomplish in class and so that first year is really just kind of kind of developing that foundation so their second year here we can build upon it and do more advanced maneuvers. So we start with horsemanship and then I also like them to have English equitation their first year and that just further develops their balance and their seat and their timing and their sense of uh, feel and so we get them jumping with that class too and what's so fun is you know even if they don't plan to ever jump again or ride English again in their entire life that class builds that solid seat and when they they go over jumps in a controlled manner when a horse later maybe bucks with them or does something unexpected it's really not that big of a deal because the jumping they've they've jumped bigger jumps than that horse can buck so <laughs> that's been pretty fun i i graduated from cwc with my equine science degree and then i went on to uw and got my bachelor's of animal science and then went out to work in the real world and cowboyed for a living for a long time and uh, my husband and i put together our own set of commercial cows 
and got into raising our own horses and stuff. My husband took a job of a like a big ranch, and so that's my other job on the weekends. And all summer I go work out there, and we have, I think at, at that place there's 800 irrigated acres. Most of it's the old school dirt ditches. So you get pretty fit packing around dams in the summer, and then um, we, we don't have the winter range to winter everything that the, the ranch can run in the summer. So we take on a lot of pasture cattle and Oh golly, end up pasturing about 22, um, 2,200 head of mother cows. So that's my other job. So I get on gathering, it's big country and it's just my husband and I, and sometimes we can get help. So we do horses, we use dogs, and then we also use motorbikes and side-by-sides just because it's, it's the only way we can get around everything. Yeah, um, you can go to cwc.edu and all, the, all my contact information is right on there. So you can find me that way and kind of there's kind of a breakdown of the program on on the website as well so there you go a little info from jennifer and the crew there at central wyoming college really neat horse program if that's what you're looking for so you know how to support the channel folks we appreciate it and certainly connect with us on the facebook group called live equestrian and also thought you might like to know we're planning another 30 50 riding challenge and so uh, liveequestrian.net has more information on that 3050 so can you ride drive groundwork or study horsemanship for 30 out of 50 days that's all it takes to complete the challenge it's going to go on april 15th all the way to july 4th there's 50 days there and it's an opportunity for you to ride for at least 30 of them and maybe even all 50 of them okay so hey, if you think you wanna take that challenge, jump over there to liveequestrian.net and get signed up for that. And we'll look forward to visiting with you guys more uh, for those of you who take part in that challenge. All right, folks, well, that's all for now. Hope you guys are all doing well. You're getting out, enjoying your horses, doing a little, a lot, and we'll catch you on down the trail.